Right, it's now time to infect myself with the H1Z1 virus. First time doing this. See what happens. Nothing's happened. I've used it. Right, right, H1Z1 might, you're affected with h one v on energy burn and damage over time. Okay. So supposedly, I'm able to see other players by like some green smog stuff, where they've been, and it progresses through different stages, and gets worse and worse. So I don't know how this is going to play out, how long it takes, but we'll see. Right, so we're at the advanced stage of H1Z1 virus now, it's 32%. Um, moderate energy burn and damage over time. Coughing symptom attracts survivors. Right, okay, so you cough and it attracts and zombies. So zombies no longer tar target you in their hunt. Attacking them will cause them to fight back. Okay, so we've got the zombies on our side. So that's the advanced stage at 30%, 33%. I'm just going to continue looting while this progresses and I'll be back when it's got a little bit further. I can walk among them. It's pretty good for, um, you can just go around and pick out the zombies that you want because the others won't attack you like I want this one. And then the others just watch. I mean, she's not even actually retaliating. So I can get the virus. And, um, go around looting the zombies that I want to choose and then just leave the rest but your health is the only thing you've got to monitor your health so I'm going to carry around a lot of dressed bandages with me um, to heal myself and also need food at the same time or you can eat other players apparently um, but I haven't come across anyone yet so I'll continue progressing with the virus and check in later see how we're getting on in theory, you could just exist. You still attract groups of zombies, <clears throat> but they just don't attack you. So you could move around in a herd, and for the people to actually spot you, if you didn't have a helmet on, um, and you took your backpack and stuff off, you might and like your respirator maybe. They might not see you, and also to get a shot in, they'd have to shoot through the zombies. So if you've got enough. Um, bandages and stuff on you, it's worth giving it a go just for the protection of moving around and you can obviously take out whoever you want which zombie, like if I wanted this crowbar I could take him out but I don't need him because I've got a crowbar already um, so there's another benefit from the H1Z1 virus right so now we've just moved on to the severe stages of H1Z which happen at 50% uh, <coughs> I'll just get into my base and we'll have a look at what uh, attributes they give you it, it gives you, sorry um, okay, severe, right so we've got the damage um, energy and damage over time zombies don't attack you, attacking them will cause them to fight back bandages and first aid kits no longer heal you normal food and drink no longer, right raw flesh and must feed off corpse of survivors, wildlife and other zombies, right. Feeding off zombies increases your H1Z1 infection, okay. Right, so bandages and stuff don't work, so we can scrap that idea now. We're gonna just have to survive off raw meat, which I, I've got some in, I've got like some cages here, let's just try this for example. Let's just eat this see if it gives us food poisoning or whatever There's no food poisoning right okay excellent did that just stay there that rabbit meat oh no it's gone now okay so it's raw meat all the way health is going down is it going did that bring our health up when we ate there No, our health's going down. How do we get our health up? <coughs> right. So I'm not entirely sure how 
we get our health up, so we'll have to discover that as we move along. I don't know if there's another stage or not. We'll have to um, so see as we move along. Um, get rid of that crap. Uh, and I'll check back in when we move along a little bit more. So I'm going to eat the flesh of this zombie. Eating flesh, your health and energy are slowly returning because you've recently feasted on raw flesh. <coughs> My health is still going down though, so I'm not sure if this actually is implemented correctly in the game yet. Um, I'm going to eat the flesh. Ah, it's going up, yes, excellent. Right, so this should also progress the H1Z1 virus to go faster now. Um, minor bleeding. I don't know if we have to bandage still to um, use to uh, stop the bleeding. I'm not sure. I'll try it. So we're on 12% health. Yeah, that stops the bleeding. So, stop the bleeding. I just need to eat a bit more. It disguises you quite good, actually, if you just hang around a, a zombie and eat him. Um, so, yeah, that's how you heal and stuff. I'm hoping I'm not going to die now. I'm going to um, get out my weapons again. Um, and... Oh, if one of the zombies hits me, then I will be uh, dead because my health is so low. Um, ah, eating the flesh again. Okay. Let's build our health up, and then I'm going to go and make a bow and arrow quickly um, so I can actually just one shot kill them. I'll run over there now. And quickly make a bow and arrow because <coughs> our health is proper low make sure I don't go on any of these spikes um, I might have a bow and arrow ready actually I think I've got a recursive bow in here off the top of my head I need to do this quickly though uh, so you need you basically need a bow and arrow because attacking them um, you just in melee you d you're gonna end up dying um, oh god it's not much do we have a weapon repair kit? Yes, repair that. Um, now we need some arrows. Wooden arrow. What's our health like? 15, okay. On the clock here. Uh, wooden arrow. Wooden arrow. Oh, I'm going to have to craft a couple quickly. 14% health, right. Um, yeah, we'll just do 15. 13. I'll go. I'll leave when we're on 10%. Because um, this is getting a bit ridiculous. If I eat the wolf meat, does it say healing? I'm going to try it again quickly. It's uh, just disappearing. It's not actually eating it. Right. Okay. I'm going to go run out just with these couple of arrows because. This is getting a bit intense now, getting close. Uh, stop moving. Now I need to um, eat. Eat. There we go. Right. So we're on the way. We're on the way. We need to get more arrows and <coughs> make sure we don't get hit by any zombies because then they'll just kill us basically. So I've got to be precise with this. If he stops moving around, there we go. Eat flesh. Yep. Okay, we're looking good, we're looking good. So. I'll be back soon when I've progressed a bit further. We've got quite a big army here on our side now. 
uh, which is good. If I had a car, I'd plow all the way through them, but I can't. So I'll um, check back in a bit. So I've just had a good idea. <coughs> Seeing as I'm in um, Pleasant Valley, I've got quite a good supply. Or you can, if I go to the police station, get some hand grenades. Ah, oh, there's one. So that zombie army out there, if I throw this grenade, or if I put an IED, I'll take an IED and a hand grenade. Um, I'll get out there quickly. Um, then we should be able to um, kill some a lot faster. We're on 20% health. So we're okay, as long as I don't fall on any spikes. Now, here's the uh, zombie army. So, um, should we go with the, we'll go with the hand grenade because I forgot to bring a lighter out with me, obviously. Um, okay, let's make sure it doesn't bounce off a zombie and come back right back at us. Oh, for God's sake. Missed. Right, I'm um, going to have to kill another one quickly. And then I'm going to try the IED. Eat him up quick. <laughs> right, I'm going to run back and get a lighter quickly. <laughs> oh, I've got one on me, fuck's sake. I'm getting too nervous with uh, me almost dying. Um, so I'm going to get into the middle of these, place the ID and just fucking leg it. Um, let's get close to it. Let's look, not get stuck. Right, that's ignited. Let's see what happens here. Go, come on. We need some flesh. Boom! See you later. Look at that. That was good, wasn't it? And we're going to get so much loot from this as well. Getting lots of flesh and lots of loot, so that's a way to survive. Do that. Well, not lots of, lots of hats, basically, we're going to get. Jesus. That's a mass slaughter of zombies, that is. Wow. Better start eating. <laughs> okay, right. <clears throat> I'll check back in a bit when we get to sort of 100% area. Okay, so it's just got to 80% and my screen has turned. It's got a red marker. So I guess this is the point where you can start seeing human players and um, hunting them. <clears throat> so you can build up a little zombie army to have around you. They all kind of seem to crowd around you. Um, it'd be good if you could actually look like a zombie. Is my flesh rotting? Oh no, that's my gloves there. Um, but it, your health, as you can see, um, I'm just going to go back to my base and drop off some stuff. But it's on 90, it was on 94. Let's see how much it uses up. It tends to go down there. It's gone down one. So you have to. There's a lot of management involved and keeping an eye on that. And obviously if you start getting shot then you're going to die a hell of a lot quicker because you'll be bleeding. So we do need bandages, um, so I'm going to get some of them. Cause you still need to bandage the bleeding even though you're infected. It doesn't heal you, but it will um, stop the bleeding if you get if you run over some spikes or whatever or if someone shoots you, stabs you. Um, so I'm going to craft some of them quick. Uh, Rest bandage. Um, I'll craft ten. And I just want to drop off these bottles and then and those metal sheets. And then I'm going to sort of wander out and see what's going on around. Um, see if I can see any humans. Um, just drop off these bullets. And then I'll um, check back in when uh, <coughs> I can see a human, basically. Right, I think I can see a player over in the distance there now. <coughs> My H1Z1 virus is at 100% um, almost. 
he's going into the building, yeah. So I've only got a pistol, so I'm going to sort of stay clear of him. Head back into town. Um, my so you can see through walls basically your vision though in terms of the area is pretty limited um, so it's heat sources I guess I mean that's quite bright um, it's at 96% so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to where my sniper rifle is and then hopefully be able to see people through the walls and spot them out for a kill like him he should probably be coming up the street in a bit um, ah there's a thingy what's it called bit of wildlife so that's how you spot them and it's quite a f long view distance so it's quite beneficial um, I mean I'm gonna have to shoot this guy because I don't really want to die from bleeding to death eat the flesh so we've got a better it's not eating dead flesh now so it should heal us a bit better. I'm going to, um, oh, I can't spin the camera around while I'm eating. So what I'm going to do, there we go, right. See that he's dead now. Still on 96%. There's another animal. Our base is over this direction. There's something on the floor there. Don't know what that was. It's vanished now. Was it a rabbit? See, so you can barely even see the barbed wire. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, I know that that's there. Ah, a zombie's just died. So if I crouch here, I can't even see. It's proper difficult. Um, I'm going to have to shoot one of these and eat them. <laughs> Don't want to search the loot. I want to eat. Give me the food. Oh, he's going mental now. He's eating proper fast. Whoa. You can get two um, meals out of one thing. <laughs> Obviously, it's shit of meat if it's the zombie. Um. <coughs> Can't even see where my doors are. Apart from maybe it's the damage that I can see above it to let me be able to see it better. You can even see the um, bees as a health kind of source. So let's uh, go in here. I can't even see. I don't know what the torch looks like when you have the torch on. Let's try that. Uh, a bit be better view but still it's pretty terrible. Um, so I'm just going to unload this. I'm going to load up a sniper rifle, if I can find one, hunting rifle should I say, and because I don't know when I'm going to die, it's probably going to be soon. Um, I'm going to try and do a bit of human hunting, if I can spot that guy out. Um, 308 rounds I need, don't I? Uh, there we go. I'll take, um, I'll just take five, just in case I die, I don't want to lose all my ammo. Um, okay, looking good. Looking good, better put my torch away, so they can't see me. Load that up. Close that. Now, let's see how far we can see, see if we can see any wildlife or anything. Um, if I jump across here. Y yes, you can. So, let's go into first person. Yeah, you can see quite far, and that's, I think that's through walls and stuff. Um, we'll wait till he wanders on a bit. We'll do a quick turn around. Let's head over here. You've got to remember, even though it looks dark to you, it won't to the other player, so it could be daytime now for all I know. Um, I don't have a clue. Some spikes there. Right, I'll check back in a sec when um, I've spotted someone running around. Um, I'll have to go out and eat in a second. Right, so what happens is I got to 100%. It was almost completely black. Um, and you just die after about a minute of being at 100% of the virus. 
so it's probably not worth getting it until they change that unless that's a bug um, but it would be it would be an advantage to have it if you don't die at that stage because <coughs> I suddenly just died I had 8% health 80% health 8-0 and it just I just died when I was going outside to eat then um, so maybe not good to use it just yet uh, but definitely in the future I reckon they'll be able to do something good with it um, ok well that was just a quick one just to check it out see what was going on and I'll see you in the next video cheers guys